Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's Jet2 Holidays Virtual Knowledge Session. I'm Bryony, and alongside me today, I have my very lovely teammate, Charlotte. Um, what an extra special bonus we've got today, and we're also joined by Sarah and Miriam from Visit Jersey. So we're really looking forward to finding out more about this beautiful destination. And don't forget, it's the perfect option right now for a staycation break. Don't forget as well, we've also got that chance at the end of today's session to win that sweet and salty hamper. So do make sure that you're listening hard and taking notes. So first up, we're going to kick things off with our latest updates and we're going to hand you over to Charlotte. But also just want to say a big thank you for you joining us this morning. And it's great to see so many of you. But do please tell your colleagues if they couldn't make today's session that we'll also be recording it so they can watch it on our Partners to Success page from tomorrow morning. So over to you, Charlotte. Thanks, Bryony. So let's get started with our latest updates. Good news. Due to the lifting of the government restrictions and the fact that you can now open your doors once more, we have opened our brochure ordering system. You can order from the Jet2 Holidays trade site and you will see a tile on the home screen that you can click on to do this. We also have online editions making them easily accessible. So let's take a look at our brochure collection. First off, Vibe. Prefer to chill out or go all out. You can choose from our incredible, iconic, party, pure and chilled vibe hotels to snap up something to suit yourself. Our second one is Discover More and this brochure does what it says on the tin. You can discover more choices across our holiday types, destinations and hotels inside. But where will you pick? And finally, our Summer 21. If a stay in the rays can't come soon enough, use this brochure to explore our sunblush destinations and hotels. You can read all about what's going into our Jet2 holidays too. And great news also. If your customers have been affected by the recent route cancellations and are looking to rebook, please use promotion code REBOOK100TRADE. It's a minimum two passengers, giving them £100 off per booking. And for our single travellers, please use Solo50 Trade. Terms and conditions apply, so check out our trade site for more information. Fantastic. So hopefully by now you're all aware of our exciting campaign that we have launched, hashtag Boost My Social. We have a dedicated section on our trade website where you'll find everything you need to know to take your social media to the next level. You can access this from the homepage on the trade site and the Boost My Social tile is just underneath the search box. By accessing Boost My Social, you will learn how to grow your business, create a loyal following of customers, learn everything you need to know about social media improve your brand awareness and ultimately boost your social media. So within this section on the trade site, you can watch the training video that's been expertly put together to help you. You can also have access to the social media pack, which includes tips, facts, myth busting, planning post perfection and how the Jet2 Holidays trade team are here to help you. Also accessible on that landing page is your very own social media planner. So you can be forward thinking when it comes to planning your social media for the week ahead. So make sure you check it out and it's going to help you and save you time. We also have the Jet2 Holidays Media Library, which has a totally new look and feel to it. So here you can find all the social media content to show our brand partnership. From here you'll see there's destination inspiration to contain to increase interaction plus there's so much more. We have content both perfect for both news feeds and stories in order to grow your business. Plus each week new content will be added so do make sure you sign up to those trade emails so you don't miss out on that new content. And then another great way to reach your customers right, right now is through eShots. So if you're using this marketing method, you will find we've got a fantastic eShot section on the Jet2 Holidays Media Library, where you can tempt your customers with destination inspiration or product updates. And I'm sure you'll agree that these look really eye-catching. So do make sure you check it out today. 
And what would a new campaign be without a competition? So from April to June, we're giving you all a chance to win some mega prizes for social media marketing spend and put what you've learned into practice. So this week's competition will end tonight. So make sure you do get involved, but we are running the competition every week until the end of June. All you need to do is post on your Facebook or Instagram using any of the content from the Jet2 Holidays Media Library. Then just head over to the Partners to Success Facebook page and you'll find the competition post that's been pinned to the top of the page. All you need to do is like it and comment with your app to number to enter. So it's really, really easy and good luck to you all. So that's it from Jet2 Holidays with our latest updates. So I'm now going to hand you back over to Charlotte to introduce you to the beautiful island of Jersey. And thank you, Bryony. So now on to the main part of today's session. But just before I hand you over to Sarah and Miriam from Visit Jersey, let's have a look at how we can at Jet2 Holidays can get you to the islands of Jersey. As you can see, we have a frequent flying programme to Jersey from six of our UK bases. We also have bases that have more than one flight per week, so your customers will have the option for a short break. And now it's time to hand over to Sarah and Miriam from Visit Jersey. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Jersey, the island staycation destination that's close to home, but far away from every day. We're going to start with the latest campaign video, so we'll show you that in a second, just to show you why Jersey is the perfect destination to visit in 2021. The world may feel a little topsy-turvy at the moment, so come and restore your balance in Jersey. Some people need a little more reassurance while others are quite confident to take the first steps now. Some like to take things slow. Others are straight into the forest lane. Some like to ponder and contemplate. Others like to dive right in. Some are simply looking to unwind, while others want to reconnect again. Some like the old, others like the new. And some like it hot, others not. So come and experience Jersey for what we're known for, the little island with a big spirit, and find your perfect balance here with us. So we want to welcome back your customers to Jersey, the British island that's closer to home, but far from every day. We're part of the common travel area and Jersey is a destination that feels familiar, yet ever so slightly exotic. It's really hard to put your finger in it. Your customers can say goodbye to travel stress this summer and enjoy an easy escape to the Sunshine Island that's on their doorstep. For a short break, a long, lazy summer holiday, they can re reconnect with loved ones on the sunniest spot in the British Isles as they explore this very special island. They'll leave refreshed, as you can see from that video, revitalized and ready to take on board the world again. The perfect place for your customers to restore their balance. And we're delighted to announce that we are welcoming visitors from the UK and Crown Dependencies from April the 26th of, um, sorry, from the 26th of April. So this is when Jersey has opened its borders again. And um, for all you travel agents who are looking to give advice to your customers, I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview about our Safer Travel programme, which is in place from the 26th of April. It means that depending where those travellers are coming from and, and where, sorry, where, where, you, where they are travelling from and where they have spent the last 14 days, there will be a categorisation into green, amber or red regions um, across the UK. These measures, which have been introduced under the Safer Travel Policy, mean that passengers arriving from some areas of the UK will need to follow stricter measures based on the level of the risk, such as testing and isolation requirements. They may be different on arrival in Jersey than at the point of booking, so it's really important to keep checking our government website or the Visit Jersey website. Um, depending on the category they come from, so for example, if you've checked and your customer is in a currently in a green region, they can travel to Jersey and on arrival in Jersey, um, once they've filled in a pre-departure form before departing on arrival in Jersey, 
there will be testing, free testing that's available at the airport. The testing, and I've been through it myself, is very quick and very efficient. Um, from the airport after, after the testing, you go straight to your hotel and you will have to wait until you get those test results back. But we're delighted to say those test results are coming back really quickly. So within 12 hours, if not quicker. Um, if there's a um, negative test, then those visitors are free to go out and enjoy the island and um, explore as much as they like. So that's just for a green passenger coming from a green region. Um, there are obviously other restrictions for amber and red. But as I said, I won't go into all the details now. It's always best and we recommend you check the Jersey government website for full details. In addition to this, um, Visit Jersey, the government of Jersey and our Jersey hospitality partners have implemented a Visit Safe Charter. The Visit Safe Charter is um, really key. It's all our hospitality partners have come together to ensure that your customers, when they come to Visit Jersey, they don't have to worry about all the health and safety measures, we've taken care of that. So there will be visit safe um, implementation and tracking around the island, which reassures them they can just relax and enjoy their holiday, knowing that their safety is being considered and looked after by the islanders. So I'm gonna hand you over to Miriam now, just to, um, just to point out where the details of where Jersey is. Good morning everyone and thanks so much for joining us this morning um, and as Sarah said I'm going to just quickly take you through where we are just to recap so if you're not familiar with where Jersey is what you'll see from the map is that we are incredibly close to France we are south of Bournemouth and um, about 100 miles south of Britain and just 14 miles off the French coast so you'll see later how this has shaped Jersey's history making it into the sort of very special and unique island it is today but crucially it means that you don't need a passport or a visa to get to Jersey we're on the same time zone but still offer something 100% different so if we zoom in on the island itself now, um, this is Jersey, and you'll see we have, um, our entire island is actually just nine miles by five. So we always say that we are small on size, but big on personality. And we're actually never more than 10 minutes from the sea, depending on where you are on the island, which is such a nice thing to let your customers know. I'm sure after lockdown, we're all looking forward to spending more time outside and particularly by the sea. Um, so to point a few important things out for you, on the west of the island there, you can see our airport um, and to get from the airport to St Helia which is on the south coast of the island it takes about 20 minutes so really easy to get into town um, and it's great with the flights it doesn't really matter what time you're getting in you know that if your customers are staying in town it's not going to be a very long journey um, another few things to point out you'll see we have very long white sandy beaches on the south the east and the west of the island um, and on the north, north side of the island it's where we've got that craggier coastline so if your customers are looking for the more dramatic views for the clifftop walks that's where they'll go um, and yeah this is this is us so we've got the 12 parishes here um, but yeah there's lots of different places to explore within so on the so south of the island that's where we've got kind of a lot of our more iconic beaches um, and that's where a lot of families choose to stay um, you've got the sort of the sailors the kayakers and the anglers they will prefer to be on the north of the island as that's where you can access those bays so just going to move on now and tell you about why Jersey so Jersey, as Sarah mentioned, we are part of the common travel area um, and very well placed for customers looking for a staycation this year. Sarah mentioned we are opening on the 26th of April, which is Monday. So really excited to be able to welcome tourists back to the island again. We really feel the island offers um, a kind of overseas experience for visiting somewhere that's slightly exotic, but also reassuringly familiar. Your customers will be able to speak in English the whole time. And I think that's something that people will want to know they're going to a destination that they can, they can have that. Um, but we, we really see ourselves as perfect for, uh, you know, families, for empty nesters, for people just looking to get away, but not wanting to travel too far. So if you don't know too much to, about the island, we're really an island that loves to do things differently. We, we have our own language, our own currency, our own laws, our own legendary knitted jumpers and our own famous royal potatoes, which we'll go on to talk about a little bit later. We're also known as the Island Breaks and that's our hashtag. So feel free to look on Instagram or on Twitter and that's where you'll see all of our contact, content. And what it means is that we're more than a city break or a beach break or a countryside break, but we're actually the best of all of those elements combined. We are the Island Break. Um, 
So I think Sarah's going to move on to tell you seven reasons why to book Jersey. So just as a reminder, get your toes in the sand faster than you can Christ summer stay K. Yes, of course, as Charlotte mentioned earlier on, fly with Jet2 from six different airports across the UK, whether that's Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Bradford, East Midlands, Newcastle or London Stansted. The flight time is so short, in many cases under an hour. Um, and actually you literally have time to order a cup of tea and that's about it and you're there, which is great for people who are looking to get away and not have that travel stress of long journeys. You, you're, you arrive in a destination that's completely new and different and unique, and yet it doesn't take you much time to get there. So it's, it's a perfect, easy destination tra to travel to. So top reasons why your customers should book a Jersey staycay without delay. Well, I think Miriam has summed up a number of those reasons. Number one, though, as, as Miriam said, um, Jersey is within the UK common travel area. So fly here within an under an hour. Um, it's very easy, short flight, and you can be at a stunning um, beach or watching a sunset or um, just enjoying a, a glass of wine in the center of St. Helier. So it really is a stunning destination to come to. Number two, feel like you're truly on holiday with Jersey's British blend of French and English charm with views of the French coast just 14 miles away. Jersey is so close to France that, of course, it it's feels very French in some ways, but very English too, which is a wonderful appeal. Um, there's many street names named after in, in French street names. Um, there's amazing food to um, get. There's lovely, beautiful fishing villages, St. Oban um, and other places. St. Helier is a bustling city, which is wonderful to go and enjoy the shopping, enjoy the bars. Um, so it's, it has something for everyone. Pack your swimmers to the sunniest place in the British Isles where the sea is never more than 10 minutes away. The wonderful thing about an island being so compact, I suppose, it's nine by five inside, but it has so much personality, so much to do. And you could stand in the centre of the island and the sea really is never more than 10 minutes away. So it's easy to get around, but there is lots to see and do. Um, it, it's perfect for itineraries as well in that sense because if people if your customers are looking to pack a lot in and we'll talk about some of the things you can do in Jersey a little bit later on but it, you're not going to be in the car for hours and hours so it's perfect for those customers who want to make sure they're seeing everything maybe their families and um, but it's not going to take you're not going to get stuck in traffic or have to drive from you know have to endure long drives with the family in the back so perfect for accessibility. And I think, as Miriam said earlier on, we have some really beautiful, beautiful beaches, which many people don't realise. St. Juan's is on the west coast. It's five miles, um, a five mile stretch of sandy beach that's very, very popular with surfers. But it's an amazing place to watch the sunset. Um, and also St. Brillard's Beach is was voted actually by TripAdvisor third top beach in the UK in 2019 and it is a beautiful beach where it's it's so lovely to go with a family and just relax and our beaches are never crowded which is a wonderful thing about about Jersey as well. So number four find your freedom in 48 miles of beautiful coastline well as I've mentioned some of those stunning beaches but there's also on the north coast cliff top views wonderful places to go for walks have panoramic views over the sea um, you can also find very secluded little bays. I myself had a go at paddle boarding, um, and, which was such good fun. And, and, fun. and you, you can paddle board out and discover these really hidden bays that you can't get to unless you're kayaking or paddle boarding. Um, so it's really diverse, the landscape. There's so much to see and do. You know, there's um, something for everyone. Families will enjoy it. If you're an adventurer, adventurer you'll enjoy it. Um, and also inland as well, some beautiful walks, some great places to cycle. Number five, we have fuel your appetite. And Miriam will talk about this in a bit, bit more detail later on, but um, it's a great place to go and, and have an adventure. As I mentioned, swimming, kayaking, um, hiking, surfing, coast steering, cycling. Um, and for those who are perhaps not so energetic, we, we've got new electric bikes called EV bikes. So you could go and hire those and happily make your way around the island on, on one of these electric bikes. It's such good fun. Um, you can stop off at an 
nice pub on the way or, you know, find a beachside cafe and just relax and enjoy the outdoors, which I think so many people after being stuck in their households are just looking forward to enjoying that outdoor weather and um, just relaxing and seeing somewhere different. So number six, the food, the food cannot be beaten. Being an island, obviously we're fed by the sea um, and there's some real continental flavors that come into Jersey's um, big four. So whether it's lobsters, oysters, the Jersey rolls or the Jersey dairy milk, um, there really is a, a great wealth of um, wonderful food and some amazing restaurants to go and visit. And then number seven, I think this is really important. Jersey has such an interesting history um, it's been moulded over time, really, from the Ice Age to the stories of when Jersey was occupied as an island during World War II. It really is fascinating and there are many tales that just haven't been told and aren't known. So you can come to Jersey and you will be intrigued and your visitors will you know, love to go and learn about the, um, the World War II experience. You can visit the um, underground war tunnels or go to one of the three castles on the island. Um, there's so much more on the historical side that you can dip your toe into the water and learn a little bit about a destination you don't know much about. So I'm going to hand you over to Miriam now. She's going to talk very briefly about the accommodation, what's available on the island. Absolutely. So I think Jersey is the perfect destination in that we have accommodation to suit every style and budget. So whether it's a room with a view or one of the island's luxury or boutique hotels, a beachside guest house or a unique stay, I think we can cater to all. Your clients will really enjoy refreshing, restoring and focusing on well-being if they're interested in one of our spa hotels. And we really do have a whole collection of independent four and five star hotels offering that sort of premium accommodation and spa facilities if desired. But we also have a really great range of family hotels. So just, you know, activities and, and, and different things to suit families and all of the various requirements needed. For that four and five star hotel experience, we would certainly recommend hotels such as the Atlantic, we've got the club and spa, we've got the Grand. I think a lot of the time we say when we're talking about hotels in Jersey, it just depends on where your clients want to be. I know some people really love to go away and wake up listening to the waves and the sound of the sea, in which case we'd recommend somewhere like Lorazon, which is on the south of the island and um, just in St Brillard's Bay. But if people want to be in St Helia and they want to base themselves more in, in the kind of buzzing environment there, we have a whole range of options too. So just to recap on that, um, we've got amazing facilities, whether that's sort of four and five star options or hotels that are perfect for families and that sort of free four star offering. Um, we have it all. So we're now going to move on to talk about the different types of travellers that might want to go and visit Jersey. So I don't know if any of you seen the Travel Weekly front cover this week, but we're, we're there. Jersey is on the front cover. And actually on, um, I think it's on the inside back cover, actually, we talk about what kind of traveller is your, tra your customer. And I think this is the really important thing, because as we've said before, there's something for everyone. So if your, your customer is a, an adventurer um, looking for a bit of action packed um, uh, water sports and um, activities, then Jersey is absolutely Absolutely the perfect place but even if you just want to dip your toe in the water there's um, so many things as we've already said to do whether that's surfing kayaking cycling walking also um, Jersey has these beautiful islands just only a short 20 minute sort of boat ride out from Jersey and you can take a rib boat um, tour out there you're often joined by dolphins along the way and see seals so it's a it's a really great little trip for your visitors to book um, and you kind of discover a landscape that's a bit like a moonscape, never, never seen before. So um, that's certainly one thing I would recommend to customers coming to Jersey. Um, there are also wonderful things such as um, the water sports. I mean, I've already mentioned about paddle boarding, but why not advise, you know, or, or recommend something like a kayak tour? It's great to see the island from the from the sea seashore. Um, so you can take a kayak and explore the coastline and um, just enjoy that little bit of adventure. Um, and then Jersey also had one of the first um, surf schools in Europe actually. And um, anyone who wants to learn to surf, I think it's a great place to um, book in a lesson and try and have your first um, surfing lesson and, and have a go at that. Or if you're looking for something a bit more relaxed, why not 
grab a jet ski um, or, or for those more adventurous, you could do some co-steering, which is a really fantastic experience. Um, so there really is something for everyone. So um, do have a look on the Jersey website because there's lots of information around um, all those different experiences available for an adventure traveller. So if your customers are maybe less into adventure a bit like me and prefer the food options um we have we are an island famous for its food so whether you're looking for um beach cafes chic restaurants farm stalls village jellies jersey really is packed with amazing eating experiences that will add that sort of authentic local flavor to your stay and um, so we always in try and encourage our visitors to try as many of the big four as possible. Now, those are, I'm sure many of you have had, or if not, at least heard of Jersey Royal Potatoes. So we have these amazing tides in Jersey that nourish the land with these rich marine minerals. And it's why our Jersey Royals have that such unique and often people say that they have that nuttier flavour. We also have incredible oysters and lobster. So if you have clients who love seafood, Jersey is absolutely the destination to go to. Um, think very, very fresh. If you can see them on the menu, it, it's highly likely that they will have been caught locally. So again, definitely one to try. And then lastly, as you can see from the picture, which really gives it away, is our Jersey dairy. So if you're exploring any of our Jersey countryside, you won't be able to miss the iconic Jersey cows. Um, which are famous for their very rich and creamy milk. So why not treat yourself to Jersey cream, Jersey ice cream, cheese? Oh, it's all delicious. And we always do this presentation and then I end up very hungry. So just remind your customers to try some of the big four. But we also have over 150 restaurants to choose from. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can embrace that food experience, whether it's visiting, you know, something like the Hungry Man which is nestled in the harbour in Rosal Bay. It offers a wide range of food. It's very no frills, um, but they, they do excellent food. We also offer food tours, so you can very much discover the best food in Jersey with a walking culinary tour and taste fabulous seafood that I've just mentioned. They offer meats and different produce, and you can go around to different spots and try the various food. Um, another, another thing that we'd recommend is a foraging tour. Now, I've done this myself and learned an awful lot about food and how to forage on the seabed. It was incredible. Um, you, I tried sea, seaweed and all these different things that you think, oh, I'm not gonna try that, but the guide says it's safe. So um, got to really experience that sort of very different um, different cuisine there. Um, and lastly, I know Sarah's favorite that she always talks about is Faulkner's fishery, um, where you can, it's, it's at these large um, German bunkers and you can go and tuck into very delish, delicious, fresh fish seafood. Um, at these Faulkner's fisheries and it, you know it's at the it's in St Juan the beach that she mentioned earlier in this huge German bunkers and they'll just go and bring in the catch of the day and it's just incredible and um, sitting outside with a glass of wine and some amazing fish is something that I think anyone who visits won't forget because it's just stunning. So next slide please, thank you. Um, and then I think we've talked a lot about um, different things you can do. And for the, for the family and nature traveller, for those looking to spend the most time outdoors, I think Jersey is the perfect destination. Um, you may have heard of Gerald Durrell, or you might have seen the ITV drama, The Durrells. Well, our conservation trust and Jersey Zoo is, in, is incredible. And it's something we are famous for. The overarching role of Durrell um, is very much to protect species and it's all about conservation and animal husbandry. So they manage breeding programs to release back in the wild, but it's a great way to spend an afternoon and something that's perfect for families. We'd always recommend getting a guide because they are so passionate and knowledgeable and it really changes the experience. But you can also do certain experience such as be a zookeeper for the day or the various other activities that they offer. So Jersey Zoo is a great place to go and visit and they've got a whole load of animals there that um, it, you can go and see. Another way to sort of spend time outside is the Jersey Lavender Farm. We have beautiful gardens. So if you have any customers who love um, flowers and gardens, then we have a whole host of um, products that would be suitable for them. The Jersey Lavender Farm, as I've mentioned, we also have the Eric Young Orchid Foundation um, and Smears Manor, which is situated just outside of um, St. Helier, and it's a bit botanic gardens in a privately owned manor, which is just gorgeous. So another lovely way to sort of spend some time in Jersey. 
If you also had clients that are interested in animals or birds in particular, we have an amazing wetland centre, which again is on that St Juan's Bay. Um, and you can have the opportunity not only to view the interesting and diverse bird life, but also to learn about the reserve's wildlife. And you can go and see it all in the uh, wetland centre. So Jersey has, as we've already mentioned, a very unique history moulded over time. And there really are some wonderful places to go and see and explore and learn about that history. Um, we have three castles, which I mentioned. One is Elizabeth Castle, which is accessible at low tide. And, and one of the things um, we briefly touched upon, but Jersey has um, the third la largest tidal wave in the, in the world. And at low tide, tide, the island actually doubles in size. So you can actually walk to Elizabeth, Elizabeth Castle by foot, or in high tide, you can actually catch the ferry um, over to the castle as well. So it's a great place to explore and great for kids who want to climb the battlements and um, take them back in time. We also have in the, in the picture, as you can see, it's Montauk Guy Castle, again, protected Jersey against the French invasion, invasion over 600 years ago. And in addition to that, we have Gronier Castle, which is a ruined 14th century castle, which is a very beautiful um, place to go and see. And many of you may not have known, but Jersey actually has um, the 10th oldest building in the world. So actually older than the pyramids. Um, it's one of Europe's finest passage graves. So you can go there and learn about the Neolithic community 6,000 years ago. Um, in addition, great, great for families, Hampton Museum, dating back to the 15th century, the house and the farm gives the visitors a unique insight into Jersey's rural life. So that's a, a, a magical place to go to. And 16th George Street, um, that's a kind of step back in time experience where you go into Regency Jersey. So again, something to um, something on a, a, on a wet day if you want to go out or just to understand what Jersey was like in that period. We also have Jersey Museum and Art Gallery and um, places such as Corbier Lighthouse, which is um, an iconic building for Jersey, um, a place that has some stunning views. So many people new to the island might even choose to, to do an island um, tour so they can learn about all the different places to go to. So to recap, how well do you know Jersey? Well, I know Sarah and I have talked a lot uh, this morning. We're very passionate about Jersey. It's a fantastic destination. Um, but just to recap, we have over 330 restaurants and amazing food. We have 500 miles of walk, so perfect for those customers looking to explore the great outdoors. Three castles, as Sarah just talked about, and the third largest tidal range in the world, which also means that our fish is very fresh. Um, and the island really doubles in size between when the tides go in and out. It's like a completely different landscape. So certainly something to see. Um, we have English, but spoken with a very faint Jersey twang. Um, and we have one pound notes, which was so cool the first time I visited. Um, but make sure that you spend your Jersey money there as it won't be accepted in the UK, but definitely something to see. Um, so this is just to recap and something you can tell your customers. We are also the sunniest part of the British Isles. I know that many people cannot wait to get away um, and to go on a staycation. So something that people will love to experience is the sunny weather. We have 24 beaches to go and get that tan. Um, and we have 14 miles of, we're 14 miles off the French coast and 100 miles from the UK, which might explain why we have slightly better weather in Jersey. Um, we are the crown, our crown dependency, which means that we have our own laws and customs and traditions but we also align a lot of the time to the UK. And as Sarah mentioned earlier, we're slightly more exotic. We have the French road signs. Um, and of course, our 3,000 3, legendary, couldn't, couldn't help us up there, cows, uh, which you'll no doubt see if you're exploring the Jersey countryside. So useful information. I think this slide is just to say, well, thank you for joining us. And I hope you've learned a little bit about Jersey that will give you a flavor of what your visitors could see and do on the island. Um, but please visit um, jersey.com uh, for more information. There's a wealth of information on that website of things to see and do. It tells you all about the beaches, um, places to stay. Also on our business site, um, business.jersey.com, um, there's lots of information. As I said, there's a page which is um, gives you all the details about current travel requirements at the moment. So simple step-by-step -step guide so that you can advise your visitors um, quite clearly what is required to come to the island. 
Um, we also have lots of information about our current campaign, the Re Restore Your Balance in Jersey campaign. Um, we've got images that you can download to use for window cards or for activities to support the Jet2 um, promotions. Um, and we have lots of itineraries. So if you're looking for ideas on, on what you can tell your customers to see and do, there's itineraries on the website as well. So I hope that really has given you a flavor of what Jersey has to offer. We feel it's the perfect staycation um, for visitors coming out of this COVID pandemic. Pandemic It's a great place to go to. It's um, closer to home, but feels very different, something a little bit exotic. Um, it's a wonderful place. We have some beautiful beaches, um, a great history and some amazing food, as we've already said. Um, so it's been lovely to speak to you this morning. We can't wait to welcome your visitors back to Jersey. Our, all our islanders are so looking forward to having them back again. Um, so if there's anything you need, please contact ourselves, the team from Visit Jersey, or the team from Jet2, and I'm sure we can answer any of your questions. So I'm going to hand you back now to, is it Charlotte? Bryony. 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 Yeah, thank you. So that was amazing. I know me and Charlotte were both on the trade site yesterday doing a quick search after we went through that presentation. It certainly had us both sold, didn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So now you've heard all about this amazing destination, it's time to start promoting it to your customers. So you can find social media content to use on the Jet2 Holidays Media Library. So it's making it really quick and easy for you to be able to do so. Don't forget, as we keep saying, it is that perfect option for a staycation break right now so make sure you are promoting it to your customers 